welcome to lecture 13 of rf and millimeter wave ic design uh, uh today's class will continue uh what we started to two days before uh that's on the second issue of uh, in uh, issue in rf design which is noise uh so far we have discussed about uh noise in terms of noise figure a noise figure of a single stage along with that we also saw a uh, sensitivity and dynamic range of a uh, receiver uh, so in today's class as uh, we have uh, as we did before uh, we'll uh, extend the study of noise figure to a cascaded uh, system uh, we'll consider only two systems in cascade because we know that in a receiver there are many stages in cascade and uh, often we we have to come across calculations for uh, cascaded stages all right so before we move uh, to cascaded noise figure uh, calculations let us uh, do a simple noise figure calculation of a common source stage uh, to get familiarized and uh after that we'll go for cascaded stages and we'll come back and solve um, little more numericals on the calculation of noise figure right so let us start with this uh the question is this compute the noise figure compute the noise figure of a common source stage with respect to a signal source impedance signal source impedance rs so compute the noise figure of a common source stage with respect to it is source impedance just to clarify that it is not the resistance at the source terminal uh, i just added it is signal source impedance rs uh as of now consider it is ideally uh loaded with an ideal volt uh, current source this is the resistance of the signal source rs this is v in this is v out and lambda not equal to 0 let us start with this question and after discussing cascade noise figure we'll come back and see a uh, little more practical circuits <clears throat> so this is with current i1 so you are asked to find uh, the noise figure of this stage with respect to the source impedance rs uh, so from previous class we know the expression for noise figure uh, noise figure is yeah it is expressed Uh, multiple ways we expressed one is uh, as 1 plus vn square by this term or if we if we can write the total noise at the output of the stage now then it can be also written as using this expression 1 by now vn rs square which is equal to 4 kt rs into vn out square bar divided by alpha uh, into alpha square av square or alpha, uh, together we call it as a not right so i'll take the um, so what i'll do here is uh, to find the noise figure i'll use the expression of 1 by uh, vn rs square which is 1 by 4 kt rs into uh, vn out square bar divided by alpha av the whole square the same expression what uh, we have taken the other day so now the only task is to find um find the value of alpha find the value of av and also to write what is the um, output no uh, output uh, noise of the circuit due to uh, rs as well as the transistor noise there are two so if you look at the circuit diagram you will uh, understand that there are two uh, things which will contribute for noise one is the resistance rs and another one is the the transistor this transistor these two are the uh, these two will be contributing noise to the uh, system all right so uh, when we uh, write this <clears throat> yeah so first we let us write what is av 
uh, you can definitely say there is nothing called as alpha in this case so previously how we defined alpha is as an attenuation factor but in this case mm, there is uh, nothing called as alpha there is no attenuation as such uh, because the input current of and this mosfet looks like uh, infinite it is not looks like there is no input current in this case so the entire signal is available at the input so only av we can write and av is the intrinsic gain of the transistor because um, the transistor is loaded with an ideal uh, ideal current source so av is equal to minus gm into r not that is the first step uh, now what we can write is we can write the components of noise at the output as i mentioned there are two things which will be contributing one is you can see that one is rs and another one is transistor now rs is at the input side so when you write the noise contribution at the output that noise should be magnified or that should be multiplied by the gain of the system that will be one component another component will be the noise of the uh, transistor itself right uh, so Mm, to have a better picture what you can do is mm, you can mm, draw only the components which contribute noise so this is transistor and another one is resistor rs so the resistor noise contribution can be uh, marked as a series voltage source which can be called as vn rs square bar and for the transistor as you know a transistor assuming in saturation a uh, saturation transistor will have a, a noise spectral density we usually express the current noise spectral density so can i get the um, can i get the answer in the chat box what is the uh, current noise spectral density of this transistor if it is called as m1 any idea so we will express it as a current source current noise spectral density uh, we mark the value as in square bar which is equal to 4kt into gamma into gm right i hope you remember this uh, this expression for noise kindly refer back to aicd noise classes if you want uh, me to share any material please do let me know in the chat box now or even later Uh, so uh, for the transistor i have expressed the the current uh, spectral density as 4kt gamma into gm and for the resistor it is voltage that is what you, we usually do or this is how we understand it but now later we uh, if you want to express output voltage noise of the entire circuit one of this should be uh, the current noise spectral density of the transistor should be converted into voltage and that can be easily done by multiplying this with r not square right uh all right so what i'll do now is uh i'll write v an out square bar so that can be written as the first thing is uh the input noise uh, the, the noise of the resistor rs that can be written as 4kt into rs that is a noise but that should be multiplied by gain of the circuit because we are writing the noise at the output so this should be multiplied by minus gm r not the whole square that is the first term and the second term is the the current noise spectral density of the transistor which is 4kt gamma into gm but that should be converted into voltage so that should be multiplied by r not square right so this is mosfet noise so to specifically this is the mosfet thermal noise because we neglected flicker noise in this case we did not account flicker noise at all now and this component is uh the resistor noise so resistor noise is basically considered as the antenna uh, the input side in this case you can consider it is the resistor noise of the source 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 itself can be thought of an antenna so source resistance noise multiplied by gain right this is how we write a uh, vn out square now uh, to express noise figure you have to plug in this in the final expression of noise figure so i'll write it as noise figure is equal to the expression here is 1 by 4kt rs 
one by four k T R S into uh, V N out square into alpha, all those things, right? So I'll just add those things together. Four K T gamma into G M R naught square, uh, which is the transistor's noise plus four K T R S into gm r naught square which is the uh, source resistance noise divided by gain gain square gain is gm r naught again this square right so or this can be further simplified as 4k t uh, will get cancelled even rs also will get cancelled you can you will get it as 1 plus gamma by gm into rs this is the noise figure of the circuit now, uh, by substituting the values of GMRS and gamma, usually two by three is the value of gamma. Now we will get a value, and you will express that in decibels. And depending on the uh, uh, on the receiver, uh, there will be uh, there will be actually restrictions, or the, there will be the specified values within which you you have such and such noise figure. And you will definitely you will usually verify the value of noise figure and see whether uh, whether the circuit can be used for a particular system or not. Now, this is not applicable because uh, I have just taken a simple example of common source amplifier. So now, when we go to the circuits of LNA or other other, other um, circuits, we will verify the noise figure and see that, okay. So for a transceiver chain, uh, since there are different blocks, we usually uh, look at various blocks and say, okay, such this much noise figure is, al is allowed for, uh, for a particular block or uh, so we will try out different circuits and uh, calculate the noise figure and see that whether that can be used for a particular receiver. That is what the usual method is. I hope this calculation is clear. If it is clear, can I get some response in the chat box? All right. Okay. So we will quickly uh, see the noise figure uh, in a cascaded stage. If you have questions, we will uh, definitely discuss at the end of the class. Noise figure of cascaded stage. Right. So, um, Okay, now basically your question is what will be the range of noise figure value? Uh, question is to specific to this, this circuit or uh, like in general, uh, the range of noise figure. All right, so noise figure, uh, as I just mentioned, uh, say for a, for a specific receiver, uh, I'm just giving the random um, the, some values, but for every circuit, there is a range. I'll tell you that. Say, for example, for a particular receiver, uh, say uh, the noise figure, the total noise figure can be 20 dB. If that is the case, uh, typically the first amplifier stage of any receiver is an, a low noise amplifier. So when you talk about the performance parameters or when you talk about the specification of an LNA, sorry, specification of an LNA, uh, it's, it's, uh, it says that the LNA should have um, a noise figure of maximum of um, 3 dB, not more than 3 dB. So generally we try to, if it is, even if it is 3 dB also, sometimes we will not consider the, uh, cons we will not consider those, uh, those blocks, those LNAs. The reason is um, the initial stages should have a, uh, should have less noise figure. We'll also see why initial stages should have less noise figure. There are certain other things to be discussed. So typically for a low noise amplifier, if the noise figure is less than 3 dB, it is preferred. That is how for LNA. Similarly, for uh, every circuit, for mixer, uh, we'll have a certain range of um, noise figure. And for uh, each and every stage. Right. I hope, Navish, I answered your question. Yeah. So, again, there will be small differences uh, with respect to uh, the, uh, the, the wireless standards. Uh, in which uh, we are designing a particular receiver system. So it is all, all der derived from the bit error rate and other things. 
So if you have a specific noise figure for a receiver, for each block of the receiver, we will have uh, allocated noise figure so that um, those specific circuit blocks should not cross that specific noise figure. Uh, oh, ideal noise figure is one. So when you talk about ideal noise figure, uh, mm, I didn't understand in what way you asked that. Uh, so um, I think, Mm. Um, no, no. no, gamma is not zero in this case. So, okay. So this gamma is nothing but uh, it, it is not that, um, what is it? Flicker, uh, sorry, uh, the body effect coefficient. No, uh, this is the, the value of gamma. This coefficient is uh, around two by three. Uh, sir, what uh, value I meant was like, what will be the ideal value for any circuit, sir? Uh, um, what value right. should be the noise figure? Um, so we cannot say that there should be a, an ideal value for a noise figure. But one thing is, um, see, uh, say for example, um, if you consider a system uh, and see, ideally, ideally, we should say that there should not be uh, no noise, right? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. So uh, say, for example, if a, if a signal contains no noise, if there is no noise, uh, see, uh, noise figure is usually expressed as the degradation of SNR, right? Uh, so if there is a system here, and there is SNR in here, and there is SNR out, we measure from here. And noise figure is the degradation. We call it as SNR in by SNR out, right? Now, uh, say, for example, I'm considering a signal. Uh, say if in a in an input signal if there is no uh, noise if there is no noise in the input signal snr in um, what will be the value of snr in snr in if there is no noise input signal to no yeah what will be signal to noise ratio it will becomes infinity right there is no noise in the uh, incoming signal in that case your noise figure actually will become infinity right so generally we say that for an um, this is how we uh, say if there is no noise in the input signal because input snr itself becomes infinity so i can say that that is an ideal case because uh, getting a noise figure of infinity is something ideal All right. Or even the other side, you can say that um, if a circuit contains no noise, then uh, I'm talking about the circuit. So what I mentioned now is if there is no noise in the input signal, input SNR becomes infinity, the noise figure becomes infinity. Now, say if a circuit is not having any noise, the circuit is not adding any noise. In that case, input SNR and output SNR looks like same. If I'm not, if I'm not thinking that that is an amplifier, right? In that case, you can say that the noise figure of a noiseless stage can be considered equal to one. Noise figure can be uh, considered it is equal to one. Right. So that depends on what ideal situation or what ideal condition we are mentioning. Uh, yes. Is that clear? Okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so uh, moving on, uh, we'll quickly see uh, the how we will get the noise figure of cascaded stages. So now uh, you may see uh, the equations, little big equations, uh, but mm, everything is.
sorry there was a connection issue now is it clear uh, whether screen is visible I hope now the screen is uh, visible. Sorry, I, I lost my internet connection. Uh, is this uh, okay now? Both my uh, audio as well as um, okay. Uh, sorry for that. <clears throat> Uh, now, yeah, so we were talking about noise figure of cascaded stage and um, as I'm, as we know, in a receiver there will be many stages. So what I'm doing, going to do now is I'm considering uh, two such stages. So uh, this is stage one. And this is another stage, stage two. All right. Now. Uh, this stage will have a gain of AV1 and this stage will have a gain of AV2. <clears throat> now on the input side, uh, we have this source resistance RS and the input signal V in. Right. Now, uh, the noise of first stage. <clears throat> so the noise of each stage I'm defining at the output. So the first stage noise, I'm marking with the voltage uh, at the output as Vn1 square. And similarly, the second stage noise is also uh, marked at the output as Vn2 square. And this is the uh, final output, V out. Right. So if you look at the stages here, uh, this is first stage with noise marked at the output. Similarly, this is the second stage. Now, <clears throat> the input of first stage, the input impedance of first stage is marked as R in one here. So you, uh, we can uh, consider this as a, a voltage amplifier. So input impedance uh, will appear uh, uh, in parallel R in R in one and output impedance of this uh, from this side. So I'll mark just mark it as R out one, which is uh, which is a series component there. R out one. Similarly, uh, input impedance of this stage I'm marking as R in two and output impedance as R out. R out. So this is basically uh, the resistances are or the impedances are marked uh, to write the attenuation factor. All right. Now, uh, so we know that for a single stage. So what we have seen so far is for a single stage, uh, we express the noise figure. Uh, we express noise figure in two ways. So one from the first formula, what we received is for a single stage, it is one plus uh, Vn square bar divided by alpha square a b square into uh, v uh, in a slightly different way that is what uh, we have used in the previous numerical uh, now if you look at this expression uh, what is this vn square uh, this vn square what we have written here is actually the output noise of of that stage, of that single stage. Right, 
the, in this specific case, if you look at the first stage, Vn square is nothing but Vn one square. And uh, sim similarly, uh, Vn two square is nothing but, sorry, um, for the second stage, it is Vn two square. And you, you can see that the denominator alpha square AV square. So I'm just modifying this and I'm writing uh, the, the, uh, the denominator can be uh, just changed as Vn square by divided by, this can be written as A naught square into Vn R square, which is nothing but 4 KT RS, right? Now this is what the expression we have with us <laughs> now. First, let us define what is A0 for this system because we have two stages here. So A0 is attenuation, um, attenuation and the gain or the complete uh, gain from input to output. So I will write A0 as A0 can be written as V out divided by V in starting from the input till the output. We should consider all the gain and attenuations together. So I'll, I can directly write the gain is the product of the two gains of the individual systems. Along with that, the attenuation factor will come uh, one at this. Uh, yeah, so one, the input signal will be attenuated here at this point because now uh, you can see an input resistance on this side and RS. So there is a voltage division happening. So I need to account that. Similarly, at the input of second stage also, looking into the uh, input of second stage, R into is the impedance seen. But uh, there is R out one from the previous stage. So there also you can see an attenuation factor. So uh, if I include both, I can write it as R in one divided by R in one plus RS is the attenuation at the input stage. Similarly, R in two divided by R in two plus R out one is the attenuation at the input of the second stage. I hope this is clear. So what we are doing is I have just written the expression for noise figure. Uh, in in this form one plus form and from there uh, first I define what is a naught a naught is a combination of gain and uh, attenuation of the system so that is written that is complete now if I write v n out square for the noise figure uh, in order to write the noise figure if you want to express the output noise component uh, basically, there are two things. There are two components I need to consider. There are two components need to be considered here. Right. So what is the first component? <laughs> if, you, if I want to write the um, noise at the output, I need to consider two components. One is the noise of the second stage. Second is the noise of first stage um, magnified or attenuated and amplified by the um, gain of the second stage. There are two things. Right. So. If I want to write the noise at the output, I have to consider two components. One is directly Vn2 square bar, which is the output noise of the second stage. And the second component is uh, Vn1 square bar, which is the output noise of the first stage, which is multiplied by R in 2 divided by R in 2 plus R out 1 the whole square multiplied by a v 2 square i hope this is clear let me write it separately the noise of which is already defined at the output now this is the noise of first stage But when I write the noise of first stage at the output, I should add proper attenuation and the amplification factor. Attenuation and amplification factors are added. All right. So uh, if this is clear, I can write the overall noise figure as the overall noise figure. Overall noise figure can be written as uh, NF total that is equal to 1 plus Vn out square divided by A naught square into 1 by 4 kT RS. This is the same expression. I'm just referring back to the same expression. 
uh, 1 plus Vn square divided by 4 kT Rs into A naught square. The same thing. But how, uh, how this can be modified now? I can write this noise figure uh, dot less 1 plus the Vn square. Uh, yeah, I have to plug in the this this term now because yeah. So that this component V n out square is actually the uh, the noise components of first and second stage. Everything I'm writing at the output. So I have to plug in this expression over here. V n out square bar is the uh, term sh should be added. Um, Akashish, I saw your question. So if you look at the noise figure expression uh, in this case, we have we are already referring that to the um, the noise the noise figure is always written with respect to the um, the noise uh, noise figure is always written with respect to the source resistance one by four kT RS right. So uh, now when I'm doing the cascade and noise figure, I'm just I'm only considering the noise of the first stage and second stage. And referring with respect to the noise, um, uh, referring with respect to the source resistance. All right. Now, in the previous question, it was uh, explicitly mentioned that uh, find the noise figure with again with respect to the uh, source resistance. That is why we uh, we have uh, added the noise contribution of RS also. Yeah. All right. So um, a little, uh, maybe you can you can also write along with me. Uh, you have to plug in this expression here and then uh, write the overall expression. So if I do that, I will get it as uh, V n one square divided by R in one uh, by R in one plus R s the whole square. Let me just look at V n one. Yeah. So you can see that. Uh, okay, so look at this expression now. Um, so look at this term uh, where uh, you, you we have written Vn out square. There uh, along with Vn2 square nothing is there but Vn1 square there are two terms. Right. Now look at the denominator factor here. What is this A0 square bar? In A0 square bar you have AV1, AV2, Rn1 this factor and this factor. But it is A0 square basically so you will have the entire thing squared. Right. So uh, when I write the final expression for noise figure, uh, this term, this term and this term, which is already present in the denominator, I will not write. It will be the, I'm just writing by canceling those. Right. So if you want, you can uh, write the complete expression and do the cancellation. I'm just writing it directly here. So this multiplied by a b one square by one by four k t r s plus along with v n two square, I will have all the terms divided by I have to write uh, R in one. This is square term R in one by R in one plus R s a v one square R in two by R in two plus R s into a b two square and then multiplied by one by four k t R s. All right, so this will be the uh, combined expression. So uh, if I, okay, now, <clears throat> so the where we started, we started to, uh, we started by uh, telling that we have to find the noise figure of the cascaded stages and we are ending up uh, with uh, such a huge expression, right? Now we know that for a, a receiver chain, there will there will there will have many number of such stages, and if you have this much big equation, it will be really hard to process it, right? Or if you want to, as somebody was asking me, uh, what will be the typical the, the noise figure for the system? Then, uh, if you want to do any such calculation, this um, this big bigger expressions will definitely will not be helpful for such a big system. So what we will do is we will uh, we will take an effort to uh, convert this expression. Uh, to write in terms of noise figure of each stage, right? So instead of writing in terms of all the components, if we can express the total noise figure in terms of noise figure of first and second stage, say like NF1 and NF2, how uh, like how we have written the AIP3 of the combined system in terms of AIP3 1 and AIP3 2. That is what we are trying to do now. Now, if you look at the first two terms, 
looking at the first two terms how what what you can comment on this first two terms or what is this uh, the, the the sum of first two terms represent can i get some response in the chat box um oh, we know that I, I just saw your uh, your message i just saw whether i have accounted that or can i get some response uh, we know you have asked me something um uh, yes yeah for the current question uh, for the noise figure thing uh, yes uh, the the first two terms represent the noise figure of the first state so this is basically nf1 but what is the second uh what is the second term represent okay so anyway we understood that the first two terms represents the noise figure of first state so uh, let it be like that we will come back to this uh, let me consider only the second stage and find so now we have to make an effort to find what is the noise figure of second stage and we'll see how we can plug in nf2 here into this expression uh, right here all right so i am just um, proceeding in that direction uh, so what i'll do here is i'll just consider only second stage now considering a uh, second stage i will write if i consider only second stage i can uh, i'll just draw the diagram of the second stage alone which is having a gain stage of av1 the noise component of this as vn2 square and this is v out now uh, what i am considering here is the previous stage r out1 and the uh, out vn is the the signal which is available at the output of the first stage and looking this side you have r in 2 and uh, looking this side you have r out 2 so what i am doing now is uh, since in this big expression what i got the first two terms represent noise figure of first stage and the third term is a quite a big term now uh, i need to find i am trying to write the i am trying to write the noise find uh, i'm trying to find the noise figure of the second stage and uh, somehow i want to relate the second the third term in uh, with respect to noise figure 2 yes kashish it is not only nf2 minus 1 of the first stage uh, we have to uh, see there is one more additional term yeah that that, that is why i'm just considering this uh, second stage alone now if i write the noise figure of second stage how can i write i can write it as 1 plus vn2 square bar divided by the attenuation factor is r into divided by r out 1 plus r into the whole square into av this is av2 av2 square into 1 by 4 kt rs in this case it is the previous stage output resistance r out 1 right now if i write what is nf2 minus 1 i'll get an expression here which is equal to vn2 square divided by the same thing r in 2 divided by r out 1 plus r into the whole square into av2 square into 1 by 4 k t r out 1 this is nf2 minus 1 right now <clears throat> so now we know what is nf2 uh, in the second stage noise figure now if i look at the first stage uh, look at the expression which is written in red the especially the third term you can see some terms uh, so there are few terms present over there right so uh, what i will do here is I'll take this expression and I substitute, I keep it over here. I'll also uh, 
take this keep it here <clears throat> now if you look at this if i rewrite the noise figure expression i can write it as a uh, noise figure of 1 nf1 plus uh, you can see these terms vn2 square is there r in 2 by so vn2 square yeah so these things are with us and along with this we have this 1 by 4 kt term also right so all these things represents nf2 right so if i write it over here i can write this term as nf2 minus 1 is already there but what is not there i have to write those terms which is r in 1 by r in 1 plus rs is an extra term there that i have to write ab 1 square i have to write now rs is not included in this expression so rs i have to write but r out 1 i have to include here uh, which is not there so i'll write r out 1 on the top or i will write in this form i hope uh, this uh, understanding what i'm doing here r s by r out 1 all right is this clear so what i have done is i have had the nf total expression in the uh, then i wrote what is noise figure of the second stage here uh, i wrote what is uh, noise figure of second stage and then i just taken this one towards the left side so i have the expression what is nf2 minus 1 now by comparing the third term here uh, in this uh, noise figure total expression and also uh, by looking at this nf2 minus 1 term here i just substituted uh, that uh, nf2 minus 1 into this um, equation written in red and now i got the final expression of this form right so to write this further i will uh, write this as nf1 plus nf2 minus 1 divided by the denominator term uh, is basically uh, this r in 1 by r in 1 plus r as the whole square into ab1 square into r as by r out 1 can be uh, written as the power gain of the first stage ap1 so the denominator this derivation also we will see little later so this entire term can be written as power gain of the first stage if that is the case i can write noise figure total as nf total as noise figure of first stage plus noise figure of second stage minus 1 divided by ap1 right if i if i got an expression of this form uh, now if i extend this to say many number of stages say for m stages if i want to write the noise figure the total noise figure uh generally what we do is we write as 1 plus nf1 minus 1 it is same as nf1 but this is the way how we write plus nf2 minus 1 divided by the power gain of first stage plus nf3 minus 1 divided by the product of power gain of first and second stage plus etc so the last stage can be written as nf m minus 1 divided by ap1 ap2 up to power gain of m minus 1 stage right so uh, this this the equation of this form is otherwise called as uh, fris equation the fris equation is also of the same form uh, you may definitely see this fris equation again in your next semester when you uh, learn about microwave engineering right Uh, so uh, this is the uh, the the noise figure expression the, uh, in order to find the total noise figure of a cascaded stage this is what we can use and the denominator term is power gain that is not derived so as of now i have just represented that as power gain we will see how that is how that is becoming power gain right so one more thing what you can see here is observe from this equation is uh, the noise contribution from each stage is basically are getting reduced as a total gain preceding the stage increases right so uh, you can see that the denominator the the denominator uh, is having the power gain of the previous stages and 
thereby uh, the noise the the noise contribution by each stage is actually decreasing as total gain preceding the stage increases that is one uh, observation out of this so the noise contributed by each stage decreases sorry increases all right yeah so kashish i just saw um, the second term multiplied by the gain of first stage divided yeah there is an extra term i i hope uh, that is clear for you now when i wrote it as ap1 so where we started is uh, uh, in order to find the noise figure of cascaded stages we have taken two stages uh, with the input source resistance separate and the first stage noise is represented as vn1 square second stage noise is represented as vn2 square then referring back to the noise figure expression it is 1 plus vn square by alpha square av square vn r square now vn is the output noise of the single stage that is what we understood from the noise figure expression now since we have two stages here uh, and we want to write vn square of these two stages at the output that is what we did first before applying to the noise figure expression the first thing we did is we just wrote what is vn at the output so i have to uh, include two components one is the vn of the second stage itself plus vn of the first stage the vn square of the first stage uh, along with the attenuation and the amplification factors that i have written here uh, before that we also define a not a not is uh, the 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 product of attenuation and the amplification factors by considering both plugging in back to the overall noise figure expression uh we obtained this noise figure total expression such a big expression then we identified that so the sum of first two terms is the noise figure of first stage then we have to uh figure out what was the third term for that separately we have looked at the noise figure of um separately we looked at the uh, second stage wrote the noise figure and then plugged in back to the same expression right and then i just uh, wrote that the denominator term is ap1 and i'll tell you how this denominator term is ap1 for because that is another small derivation i don't want to bring in that derivation also uh, along with this one now for m stages i can write in this form and um, this is the uh, expression what we used to find the noise figure of many stages when we have uh, such a case right <clears throat> i hope this is clear so i'm just giving you one homework so that you can uh, try out what we have uh, studied in today's class uh, the de determine the noise figure of cascade of two stages two common source stages so one is this v in you have rs here the first current source lambda is not equal to 0 now the output is connected to v out this is i2 vdd lambda is not equal to zero for this stage right so uh, what you can do is uh, you have um, you have the noise figure expression the total expression right uh, definitely uh, you, you cannot directly apply this here because first of all we do not know um, the power gain of this or we do not know the nf2 of the second stage so what i'm asking you to is to uh, plug in this expression and find all the r in rs r out one things and just uh, get an expression for vn and vn uh, noise figure by uh, in terms of vn1 square and vn2 square by using this expression all right so in next class we'll discuss this uh, 
so we can get the answer for this all right so uh, we'll wind up uh, here with the noise figure of cascaded stages and we'll continue in the next class if you have questions you can ask now